Do you advise your journalism students that it's okay to friend sources on Facebook or LinkedIn? I mean, Twitter is a little bit of a different right. deal, yeah, but Twitter's different. on those yeah. networks, is it okay to friend or well, link in to sources? Okay, so my own attitude is that I, I've been using Facebook now for several years, but I have done very few Facebook requests myself for friends. Most of them are people have asked, and I've, I've said yes, depending on what they're doing. I think that you have no choice if people want to friend, especially if it's a source. I mean, it's good for you because here's what happens. Sources don't go to these sessions, right? Sources are giving away too much information. That's good for Trump. That goes back to your question. What I'm saying is let Twitter give, uh, let Facebook give us access to put the controls, but they're not doing that and that's my problem with it. So what I say is definitely on LinkedIn you should connect, but here's how Facebook saved my saved a, uh, a relationship. So I'm on both sides, right? I interview journalists. I mean, I do stories myself, or report on them, and then often I'm on the flip side as a as a source. And there was a source I wanted to talk to, so I emailed him, no reply. I texted him, no reply. Now my temperature is going up. I'm about to write the dreaded email. What? You don't respond anymore? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, something like that. You're too big to respond to me. Mm -hmm. And then I said, wait, hold on. Let me just go on to Facebook, and it turned out he was whitewater rafting with his kids. Right? Relationship saved, so we're saved, temperature down, everything cool. It's right? not all about you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But, but so what was good was he didn't know he shouldn't be sharing that or he didn't want to share it, but it saved our relationship because of that. I used to say to people um, that I should do a whole thing called light touch source management light touch source management, which was learn from fundraisers. Fundra I do a lot of fundraising, I work a lot of fundraisers, and you will learn from them, which, and I do workshops for fundraisers, and I tell them it's light touch source management, which is uh, you don't want to overwhelm your sources with, uh, phone, you know, uh, with phone calls and all that, but you want to be top of mind, so when they have that exclusive story, they think of you before they think of anybody else. And one of the things I have to tell people is hit that like button. Right? Somebody posts some photos of their kids, you hit like, you move away. You don't like write a stalkery email, oh, this is great, blah, blah, blah. Just like and move away. You can't do that anymore. But now everybody knows you click like on it. Everybody knows that you, you've done that. Um, so, uh, Hari Srinivasan was, uh, came to one of the meetups recently, yeah. and he, he taught me something. Hari was at a wedding with, uh, with us back in um, New York in August. And we're all doing the wedding photos, right? You had like this and smiling and all of that stuff. And he said, boy, I'm going to be doing a lot of untagging tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what a great idea. We should all be untagging. And that's what you want to do. You want to untag as much as you get tagged so that you're curating your presence on these things. By the way, we're not related. He's the thinner, taller, single, better looking Srinivasan. Yeah, in <laughs> Yeah, Teji. It's uh, both what you said about the Facebook mm -hmm. okay. my, my wife also, my FBA social, they will, I will friend them if they send me a Right. That's, you should clarify. Like if I have a source, I will not send him or her. Okay. That's, that, that's fine. Because they... But now I know that you friended them, Teji, right? That's the problem. Ah, this one and yeah, now I might friend them because you're friending them. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Uh, even if I send them a request, mm -hmm. they might not... Right, exactly. Yeah, I'm always waiting on the other side. Yeah. Uh, Professor, I'm, I'm just assuming, because you haven't brought it up, that you don't believe there's any social force down the road strong enough to compel Facebook to fix this. You know what it is? It's people in this room. If we all, I mean, we, either we can boycott it, which we're not going to happen, or we should all <laughs> raise this with them. By the way, Zuckerberg in that same interview had this great line. He said, we have 300 engineers, and we like to keep a million customers per engineer. I said, yeah, don't we all? <laughs> right? Imagine if, if the New York Times had a million customers or readers for every employee that have a billion readers, right? But only Facebook can afford to do that. They can, they've got such, you know, they've got such uh, power. <laughs> I don't know. If the Washington Post wrote three months of editorials saying it, maybe they'd care. But nobody did anything. Nobody cares. We all use it. I use it. Right? So I wish there was a social force. I don't know. There's a regulatory force. I mean, Canada made them change third-party apps. The FTC could whack them. Right. But they, they could. You're right. They, they, uh, they could. Let me show you a couple of other things. We're just... Um, Let's go in here, and I wanted to show you, you've all seen this, right? What the Facebook? <laughs> Write this down, you want to see it. A lot of it is not good for just mixed company, so close your eyes. <laughs> uh, but I want to show you this. Okay. So just wait. 
how bad this could be. Somebody took a quiz, how good are you in bed? And she said she's one of the top 5% of lovers. She's an incredible lover. What could go wrong? One, a current boyfriend could write, no, you're not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Former boyfriend could write, no, you're not. <laughs> but what happened actually? Dad says, just what I want to know about my daughter. <laughs> Grandma says, what I want to know about my grandma. Right? Awful stuff. I'll show you one more. Again, Why don't you your grandma limited profile? Right, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here are the baby. Oh, 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 oh. Wearing his dad's undies. <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't done this? So, shh, this is a moment that's happening right now in America somewhere. Mommy finds Brian's old pictures and takes it and then does what? Let's put them on Facebook. And then, this is in August of 91. If you're older like me, you're thinking August 91 was recent. You know, it's not that long ago. But it turns out Brian doesn't look like this anymore. Brian's a big boy. 91 is a long time, right? And guess what happens? Here we go. Mom says, no, Brian says, Mom, seriously, you've lost your privileges, putting you on limited. Mom says, hello, Brian. Do you not like the photo? I think it's cute. What is limited? This is happening right now. It's actually happening. Somebody else is doing the same thing. And then what does Brian say? Think of it as being grounded or put on timeout. <laughs> Indefinitely, see ya. <laughs> what should he have done? What should he have done? Untag himself, right? That's the beauty of the tagging. We call it security by obscurity. You're still, that photo of Ari is still on there, the goofy photo, but it, in effect, it doesn't exist because somebody would have to go find it and then guess it's him. And so everyone see the difference, right? So be doing a lot of untagging tonight. So there's also a way you can set this up in privacy, though. So that if you have business, you set up a category of business associates that they can't see any third-party tags of you at all. Right. So I'm, that's that's a good point that I'm going to come to. But imagine all these people thought only their friends are reading this stuff. You saw the New Hampshire um, con um, state legislator who got in trouble. He posted a thing. I'm paraphrasing, saying anime is another reason why we bombed Hiroshima. Okay, anime, Japanese cartoons, you get it. Uh, and then he had to apologize. All these Facebook apologies sound exactly the same. I thought this was private only for my friends. <laughs> Turns out it's not only <coughs> for their friends. So uh, here's what I say. I say to everybody that mama lied. Mama lied. Mama said, don't label people. I say label people. Mm -hmm. Categorize them. Put them in, uh, in, in, in LinkedIn. It's called tagging people. Uh, label them. In Facebook it's called lists and that's what Tammy's talking about. You absolutely must categorize people. I learned this in Washington. I have friends, journalists who showed me their Facebook page. Incredible. You go in there and it says Senate, Senate staff, White House, White House staff, State Department, and then the most important category of all, the competition.